Installment 4 in the Geologic Timescale series, the Silurian period. The Silurian lasted about 443 to 419 million years ago. During this period, fish developed jaws, and the first freshwater fish that we know of appeared. The seas were now ruled by Eurypterids, a.k.a. sea scorpions, with the biggest, Jacolopterus, growing up to 2.6 meters or 8.5 feet long, making it the largest arthropod ever. And what's funny is that Jacolopterus didn't even inhabit the oceans, it was a freshwater Eurypterid. So these sea scorpions had taken over salt and freshwater. Meanwhile, on land, animals had now made it to land, with myriapods, such as millipedes, and arachnids, such as spiders and scorpions, being the first. This period also saw the rise of vascular plants like Cooksonia. The climate during the Silurian was warm and stable, though atmospheric carbon dioxide levels were high. For most of the Silurian, oxygen levels were between 15 and 19 percent, less than today. However, during the late Silurian, oxygen went up close to modern levels again, at up to 22 percent. At the beginning of this period, the glaciers that caused the Ordovician extinction melted, which caused a rise in sea levels and created more warm, shallow seas, ideal habitats for marine ecosystems. It was at this time when we saw the first coral reefs. During this time, the supercontinent Gondwana drifted to the South Pole with the other landmasses, Laurentia, Baltica, and Avalonia, slowly colliding to form the supercontinent Euramerica. The Silurian period was ended in minor extinction events linked to climate change and fluctuations in sea level. Well, that was a period in time when all the water was dominated by huge arthropods and fish started developing jaws. Exciting times, really. Be sure to like and subscribe.